Hey there Capricorn. Welcome to your Love Tarot reading for December 2022. I hope this video finds you in good spirits and loving life. This is a general love reading for all Capricorns. Cross watchers are also welcome. Keep in mind that the roles of the individuals or energies identified in this reading may be swapped and that the intensity of the situation may vary. So take whatever messages resonate and leave behind for others whatever does not. In this first column, we explore the focus of your love life this month. You have strings. You also have six of wands, two of wands, and spirit of cups. This is the equivalent to the queen of cups. In this middle column, we uncover what's making you more desirable. You have sandpiper spirit, be playful. You have the nine of swords, the 10 of wands and the two of swords. So some kind of a serious, serious energy is going on here. And in this third column, we see the lessons you're learning about intimacy. We have the devil here. This is your major arcana card. And I would say this is one of the uh, creepier devil cards that I've come across. You can see here this um, kind of mask of a happy face so that the devil can blend in with others easily. You have the Ace of Swords, the Death Rebirth card, and the Spirit of Pentacles, which is the equivalent to the Queen of Pentacles. And here, the card at the bottom of the deck, the influencing energy of this reading, you have the Three of Wands. So this is a sense of um, kind of exploration, um, a sense of progress, like broadening your horizons and kind of like really expanding, expanding outwards. So here, let's get to these strings. So focus of your love life can be what is um, either pulling your strings or you are able to pull someone else's strings. Um, and there's a sense of power involved there. Or it could be playfulness if you tap into that. So with the Six of Wands, this is a card of victory, success, recognition, um, and like accomplishment overall. With the two wands here, you are focusing on something, planning for something, having your sights set on it. And then with the Spirits of Cup, you have pretty much like double emotions there. Uh, queens are associated with the element of water and so are cups. So you've got double emotions, double intuition. Um, for those who are kind of recognizing that you can pull other people's strings, um, you can feel that out, then perhaps there is someone in particular you are uh, trying to work your magic on. So let's look at that Two of Wands. You have the Eight of Cups. So that is a card of, you know, recognizing when something isn't going to work out and needing to withdraw from that situation and move on. Um, 
which is interesting. Perhaps the plan is to move on to someone else. Let's look at the Six of Wands. Wow, you have the tower here. Okay, so um, if you have come out of a tower moment, uh, then you are kind of focusing on how you can succeed, but it seems like um, you might be more headed towards a tower moment because you've got the Nine of Swords, Ten of Wands here, which are cards of like anxiety, uh, fear, burden, responsibilities. So let's see what's going on with that Spirit of Cups. You have the Three of Swords. Okay, wow. So, Capricorn, you had all these like more successful, positive cards over here. Um, and then on this clarifying aspect, it seems that something is, um, it could be something is kind of giving way, not working out. There's kind of disappointment, sadness. And to some degree, this is the whoever is getting the raw end of the strings deal. Whoever is getting played, whoever is the, you know, puppet master might be feeling the success, you know, feeling in control and connected, but whoever is having their strings pulled might not feel that way. And eventually you get what you give, you give what you get type of things. No, you give what you get, you get what you give. Either way, it's like right now, whoever is getting the positive end of it is ultimately going to recognize the negative aspects of it as well. So that's where the focus is for your love life. In terms of what's making you more desirable, there is this card of be playful. You can see it's got this sandpiper, it's got this little ruffles around its neck. And what's funny is it's supposed to be like, these are described as cute little clowns. But here, this face of the devil, it's not a cute little clown. It's got this like soul, like, it's like a, was a person, but it's like a sucked up soul that's just like um, next to the devil here. Um, and the devil's got that clown, clown mask on. So here it's just um, a sense of having fun, not taking things so seriously. There's a lot of like serious aspects here and with the uh, Nine of Swords, it could be, you know, in relation to this downfall, um, this ending of whatever is happening, whether it's a new relationship, a relationship you've been in for a while or a prospect of one. Um, but here you can see like there's these faces and shadows and the darkness and that kind of just indicates like your own fears, um, your own self-doubts popping up. With the Ten of Wands, this is kind of having a really lofty goal, a lot of responsibility to take on with it, and um, maybe it's you're almost to the end, you're almost to the finish line, um, but it's it's still a burden to you. With the Two of Swords, there's a decision that needs to be made and um, it's kind of, it feels like there is some type of, some type of decision that needs to be made. Maybe it has to do with these strings or um, maybe this is after dealing with the strings, 
but it's a heaviness and the two of swords is kind of living in a, a state of fear and anxiety and not making a decision but really if you just make the decision um then you kind of bypass the heaviness of it so for some of you capricorn it may be that this has to do with work and it's spilling into your love life it could have to do with your love life but there's a sense of you know maybe being stubborn um to some degree but in terms of being more desirable if you are more playful and you kind of not put so much heavy weight on it on whatever it is in life and kind of be in the moment look at things with a positive um you know outlook to it and sometimes you know if things are just ridiculous then acknowledge it's just ridiculous as some things in life are ridiculous and you don't have to stress over it so let's take a look at the two of swords here you have this six of cups and that indicates something of your past something about nostalgia um to some degree, it could be whatever decision you're making has to do with um, either a pattern that you learned when you were younger or someone that um, you need to decide if you need want to disconnect from. Maybe it has to do with these strengths. But let's take a look at the Ten of Wands. You have the Ten of Cups, and that's happiness, joy, um, being with those that you love, um, feeling supported. And it's not about just being happy 24-7. The different cups in the rainbow indicate the different types of emotions we all experience. And having, having people around us that we care about to either support us when the emotions aren't that great or to celebrate with us when they are that great in a positive way. Um, and in terms of the Nine of Swords, let's see what we have there. You have your card again, the Devil. So it seems like this has to do with a certain pattern um, that you have Maybe even the focus of your love life might not even be a specific relationship, but more of a pattern that you're feeling of. Um, it kind of goes from feeling like successful to everything's just like you got the rug pulled out from under you. And then you're planning on something for your future, getting outside of your comfort zone and then walking away from that. Um, and then feeling this emotion, this connection, and then feeling like it's the worst part of the connection here. So with this be playful aspect of what's making you more desirable, it's almost that you need to recognize what your negative patterns are, where you tend to um almost dwell in things that are uh difficult or um or scary even so learning about intimacy you've got this devil card and that has to do with these negative patterns um but you also have the death rebirth card so that's about transformation. That's a sense of, of change. And you have the Ace of Swords here. And that gives you clarity, allows you to cut cords and change that bind you to things that aren't for your best and highest good. You've got the Spirit or Queen of Pentacles. And that is a card of um, nurturing yourself. Uh, being connected to yourself, recognizing 
your connection to your body, uh, to your emotions, to your surroundings, the people around you. So let's take a look at this death rebirth card. You've got the page of wands. This is um, that sense of childlike uh, wonder and that sense of being playful, um, expressing yourself in a new way, uh, exploring things, bending some rules a bit. Let's take a look at the Ace of Swords. You've got the Two of Swords. So here, it may be in terms of like whatever, whatever it is that you need to make a decision on, um, just making the decision is going to help you, you know, see things in a new way to um, feel better, actually. Have a sense of clarity about what's, um, what you need to do, where you need to be. And you have the Page of Cups, clarifying the Spirit or Queen of Pentacles. So you've got these pages here. Um, it's a sense of, like, again, looking at the world with, um, you know, with the view of possibilities, a sense of wonder, um, looking at the limitless um, surprises, being pleasantly surprised by life in general. Um, so it seems like whatever this pattern is, whatever it is that is giving that instant relief, that instant gratification, that instant like satisfaction in knowing that that's how you are, that's how something has to be, um, that is affecting your ability to um, like dig deep into what it is that you want and desire. Um, and kind of this has to do with intimacy with yourself in the sense of letting things go that aren't really for you and um, really being more confident in who you are to allow you to be intimate with other people because it seems that um, these burdens, these stresses that you have, this these responsibilities that you have kind of keep you uh, in a state that's not your true self. And so to some degree, um, there, it's just you, like, not wanting to be, like, comfortable being you. Not comfortable being vulnerable enough to be you. But really, in December, have some fun. Um, maybe toast some marshmallows. Um, if you're in an area where you can go, like, sledding or... Maybe you're in a part of the world where it's nice and sunny and go to the beach. So let's take a look at what's next for you in love. You have the 11th house of community. This is about groups. This is about not just you, but you and how you operate in a social setting. And, um, you know, the your peers, how you operate in your your world of your connections. And so here, um, that may be why there's a focus on kind of like this downfall and a rebuilding and fresh start is because there is going to be something important in love when it comes to your, your uh, the groups that you are in the people that you surround yourself with. So I'm hoping this reading provides a helpful perspective of love for you in December. We'll see you next time. Take care.